Ahoy, this is Sweatamax, welcoming you to a brand new Let's Play series. This time it's Crusader Kings 2. And Crusader Kings 2 is quite similar to EU4. It just takes place in a different era. And it focuses more on the characters that runs the countries rather than on the countries themselves. So it's more of a character driven dynastic simulator thing yeah in the earlier medievals so we're gonna start on the old standard start the Stamford Bridge the 15th of September 1066 rather than the first start the 1st of January 769 and we have a new DLC <coughs> since a few days back the way of life adds a whole lot of events and things and since we are going to play as a dynasty rather than a country the goal with the series will probably be to make the dynasty as powerful as possible we want the dynasty to be ruling as much of the world as we can achieve pretty much and therefore I want to start as one of the weakest or at least least noble families so I will start as a patrician in a trade or trade merchant republic sorry what it's called the merchant republic of pisa and we will go into the ruler designer and decide who we're going to play as so first i want to take someone ah, he looks kind of good and we want to change the coat of arms i have uh, an idea in my head of how i want it to look somewhere around here yeah there we go and we want this to be blue this to be golden the sea the golden shores which will make our trade and the white sky something like that Bonaventura these were the Maxia that's going to be our dynasty these were the Maxians we want to be a meters touched because they're awesome and then we want to go into the traits and here we kind of have to be wounded it's a good trait to start with since we get lower age we want to start as young as possible Too much. we also want to be lustful we might as well be gluttonous and slothful and craven and ambitious also even though it is a horrible trait, I know. Arbitrary gives us 13 more years to work with. And. Well, maybe we shouldn't take it. But a master schema, that's good. And we close that. And then we want to work on our diplomacy. Or we can leave our martial lower. And our health. And of course, our fertility. And yeah, all well, intrigue is good. Seems fine. <clears throat> we are Patrician Bonaventura of Aliata, or rather, these were the maxim. Finish and play. So, the first thing we want to do, just as in Evo, is to take care of all the pop-ups. Our character will have a focus, this tab, and we want to choose... Well, we are the only one of our family, and if the last person of our dynasty dies, we lose the game. So we want to have as many children as possible, that's part of the reason that I increased fertility. We also get a higher trade post limit, we'll talk more about that in a second. We have more adult males of our dynasty in the court. So we will focus on family. Give us diplomacy, more fertility and health. Health is also great. We are unwed, so we're gonna have to take care about that. Take care of that. And ambition, get married. And we wanna fill out the court. Chance. 
Chancellor, Marshal, Steward, Spymaster, and Court Chaplain. So the Court Chaplain is gonna go to Rome and make the Pope like us more. The Spymaster is gonna go scheme in our capital. We technically don't own any provinces on the map yet. We have, here we are, this holding. It's a house, pretty much a mansion. And we also hold this city. Apparently, the city of Volterra. That's pretty good. So, in EU4, every province is its, well, its own holding. In Crusade Kings 2, one province can have several holdings. So we have the county capital, it's a county, which is Rome. We also have the Barony of Tusculum within the province of Rome. But here the Baron of Tusculum doesn't actually have its own province. He's just the caretaker of that castle. No caretaker, he owns the castle anyway. We also have a domain limit. This is how many holdings we can have ourselves. And we have a vessel limit that's not showing up right now because we can't have any vessels at the moment. I guess that's why. Yeah. So let's find ourselves a wife. Wife. This is the find characters tab. Very convenient. We can find any character in the world. We want to find women in our religious groups, and we want them to be geniuses. She's an architect. She's in perf... Uh, oh, I'm not gonna pronounce that. So, either, I think we're gonna pick this girl. Gladys. I'm gonna call you Gladys. You will be my wife. And... Hopefully you will give me many children. At least many sons. I want to start by building some trade posts. This is the trade post map mode, where we can see that we currently have hmm, no trade posts at all. Oh, we have this one. Why can't we see it? Interesting. This should be ours. Anyway, we'll build a trade post here in Neapolis. Trade posts are worth more if the province has a higher tax income. But yeah, we'll have time to take Salerno in a minute or so. Also, we want to make you fabricate. Oh, you suck at this. Really, you're the best. Mm, yeah, we might as well try to get a claim on Piombino. Yeah. They're gonna train troops. You are going to collect taxes, and you already gotten your jobs. So let's start the game and wait for that accepted marriage proposal. There we go. We can choose between one gold or twenty-five prestige. Twenty-five prestige is better than one gold. And we are now married. So we have fulfilled the ambition. Now we want to have a son. So we can check here, the dynastic map mode. Currently our dynasty holds no provinces, but the Salians and the Capet, I think Capet, or Capet, and the Jimenas, the, I'm probably just insulting people by pronouncing these names wrong, but the Rurikid, here at least I can get something right. This is the Stian Shiling, I hope, otherwise. Just embarrassed myself. Sverker. Oh, they, were, they are quite famous in Swedish history, actually. Yeah, anyhow, and we want to spread our dynasty to as many of these countries as possible. As many of the provinces as possible. And we probably want a person of our dynasty to become the Pope as well. Pope Alexander II. Is the current Pope? Let's increase the speed. While we wait, have our trade post been finished? No. Still working. Halfway there. 
So the trait posts, and this is one of the things I love about CK2. Well, we want to be more... We want him to be more ambitious. Yeah. Green aid monster. monster. Yeah. Anyhow, it's not important. When we go into the diplomacy map mode, or the diplomatic relations map mode, we can see the people that we have a causes belly on. We have a causes belly on him. Declare war. We can't declare war if we don't have a causes belly. There's no peace negotiation thing going on in CK2. As it is in EU4. It's rather that you declare war over something. If you win, you take it. If you lose, you have to pay them money, depending on the causes belly. And you can have a white piece that leads to you losing prestige. If you are the attacker. And since we have a trade post here, we have a possibility to take the city in which the trade post is located. And our wife is pregnant. Well done. And we could build some retinue. Yeah, we're gonna need it. A good combo is three skirmish retinues and one light skirmish retinue to get as many people as possible and a good mix oh well we want archers as many as possible some light infantry heavy and heavy infantry to take the major losses or oh, we swarm the people apparently we're in a war the peace and genoese trade war over nice with this our serene doge our leech doesn't like us very much. We have a son, and he's called Jan. Why not? Pick a new ambition. Since the ambitions to have a daughter and have a son, at least I think this is true. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Increases fertility. You wanna take those, even though daughters doesn't really interest us this time. It will be important later to establish diplomatic ties. Since alliances, check here, we can't ally him by pressing something here. We have to ally him by marrying off a daughter or a son to someone of his kin. So this King Philip of France. Okay. Anyway, let's... Uh, why not make her fall in love with us? In Tuscany has revolted. No? They just got independence. Interesting. From the Holy Roman Empire. That's a nice dynasty shield. I'll give you that. The Holy Roman Empire is at war with the French. Over what? Your war over Ghent. Ghent is our somewhere around here I think. Maybe not. And now, could find the title. Ghent. The County of Ghent. Oh, there it was. I just didn't see it. It's a bit dark when you're at the. Well, when you're looking at someone else. Because of the fog of war, as it's called. And we could declare war. We have another son, Bonaventura. Yeah. Let's see if any of our sons became geniuses. Yes, awesome. Our eldest son will be our first heir. He's a genius. See, yes, most of the others have a lot more in trade post limit, a lot higher trade post limit, perhaps, than we have. It's because they have adult. Fa male family members in court gives them one more gives these guys three more and these guys seven more so once our sons grow up and we die play someone else we have lots of court members blah blah, blah we will have an increased limit as well so could we declare war we could declare war on you right now we have Army levies from our domain, 2038, ready to rise up to fight them. Which would probably be enough, eh? unless you have any allies. Free allies. You 
could call this to war, that would be not so good. But you have no allies, so he's the city of Neapolis. And our first war is on here. Let's send our 3,000 men down to fight their 2,000. We are apparently the best fighter in the realm. It doesn't seem good. Seems pretty horrible actually. And yeah, we're overwhelming them. Oh man. Let's go there, kill them. Yes, they, they don't come back and try something funny. And yeah, there we go. We got the trade post. Our trade post. They sieged it. And we could build another one in Salerno. We have lost our spy master. And our wife will be the new one. Our wife looks a lot more masculine when she's spy mastering. Interesting. <clears throat> Sorry. My throat is still a little sore. And we're just waiting for the siege to come through. And then we'll get this city, since that's what we declared war for. And when we have that, we'll probably have a new cosplay, which is to take the actual county away from him. What seizes, seize it, it's called. Anyhow, we should soon have a lot more war score. Sticking down, there we go, 90%. Would you be willing? No. We're a lot less willing to accept peace in this game. If you compare it to E4. But yeah, it takes a lot shorter to actually capture a town than it. Oh, Lydia. It takes to capture Bernie. Because Bernie's have walls and things. And he surrenders. Perfect. We have our first. Well, our second city. Our first conquest. City of Napoli. Perfect. And a new ambition. A mass. Eh, I'm gonna become a spy master. A mass wealth. We wanna be rich. Of course. Since we are merchants after all. And some other merchants are visiting us. And they are telling us about Hindustan. And we got a gift. As in the form of a person, Zacharias. Zacharias, Greek descent. Eunuch. He's not that good. Is he better than my wife at intrigue now? Do I have any better name? <clears throat> so we can have a total of six holdings in our domain. The house. Oh, our family mansion doesn't count, luckily. Only merchant republics get family mansions. If you look at this duke here, Duke Ramon Berenguer the Old of Barcelona, he won't have a house. Not that you can see our house there, but he doesn't have a house. He can take care of the same way as we do. He has his castles instead. And we want Manfredo to be more ambitious. But no, he ignored us completely. And yeah. Now we're just gonna wait. Well, they have replenished. Wanna get some more? Probably. Here we go. Gonna have to build up. And then we'll probably attack. Maybe this guy. You have allies. Done it. This duke. He's allying the people. To 
make sure that we don't get oh well I don't know if the AI plans that way but seems to see if he wanna make sure that we don't get these provinces. I really wanna make this a capital but I can't really. So let's declare war on him anyway. We want the city of Capua. And he has lots of people. Lots of scary people. So let's raise up our army levies. They didn't really have time to replenish fully. But who cares? We have some boats. No. We can't. Maybe if we do it this way. No. Still no boats. We could try to get there. It's yeah. Worked out fine. And you'll stop in Roma. You will go there as well. Perfect. He's gonna have to go back and dock the boats since they cost lots and lots of money. We match these guys up. And we. Francisco dies. We have a problem. See? Chancellor. Nico, he sucks even more. The Pope has died. Given us a new Pope. Pope Calixtus. Calixtus. Second. We probably want to go back. Since we're suffering attrition. Let's see if we. Yeah, we wanna educate our son. Educate him myself. And we'll probably take a break there. While I work out the plan for how we're gonna win this war. We might not actually. And with that, I wanna say thank you for watching. And hopefully, you like the video and you wanna subscribe, comment, like, do whatever you feel like. Lots of likes in that sentence. Anyhow, have a nice day, night, evening, morning, whatever suits you the best, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.